हॅलो फ्रेंड माय नेम इज चिन्मय देशपांडे इन दिस व्हिडिओ लेक्चर वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ टॉपिक फ्रॉम युनिट इंटरपोलेशन वी विल सॉल्व्ह हिअर अ थर्ड प्रॉब्लेम बेस्ड ऑन न्यूटन्स बॅकवर्ड इंटरपोलेशन फॉर्म्युला द क्वेश्चन हॅज बीन मेन्शन हिअर फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग डेटा फाईन नंबर ऑफ स्टुडंट्स हू ऑप्टेन मार्क्स अबाव सिक्स्टी फाईव्ह अँड द डेटा हॅज बीन गिव्हन लाईक दिस वी हॅव मार्क्स इन बिटवीन थर्टी टू फॉर्टी How many students? We have 31 students. In between 40 to 50, we have 42 students. In between 50 to 60, we have 51 students. Like that, the data has been given. Now, if you see, we have to find it out, number of students greater than 65. So, therefore, I will write it as, as we have to determine, we have to determine, number of students number of students who secure marks who secure marks above 65 so we need to modify this table whatever we have so let me write it as this will be marks so i will call it as x and we will have number of students I will call this number of students as a Y. Now, above marks, above 65, it is expected to find it out, number of students who secure marks above 65. So, therefore, if you see in between 30 to 40, I can write it as above 30, how many students, uh, or above 30, how many students have got a marks above 30? So, it will be 31. Then, above 40, how many students have got marks? If you see, it will be what? Now please see, here there is a mistake I, I did. Above 30, how many students uh, have got marks? It will be 31 plus 42 plus 51 plus 35 plus 31. So it will be equal to 190. Because if you see, above 30 means what? The students may get 40, 50, 60, 70, 90, 80, whatever it may be. So, we have to add all these, so we will get marks above 30, number of students will be 190. Marks above this uh, 40, how many students will be there? So, here we have to do, it will be 42 plus 51 plus 35 plus 31. So, how many students will be? We have 159 number of students. Then above 50, how many students will have a marks above 50? So it will be 51 plus 35 plus 31. So you will get it as 117. Above 60, how many students will, will have a marks above 60? So it will have 35 plus 31. So it will be equal to 66. And but obvious above 70, there will be only 31 students. So please remember or understand how we have prepared this. As it is expected to find it out above 65. So above 30, how many students? 31 plus 42 plus 51 plus 35 plus 31. Like that we have made uh, the table. So if you see, this will be your value x0, x1, x2, x3 and x4. Corresponding here, we will have a value that is y0, y1 y2, y3 and y4. Now, if you see, this 65 value will be at the end of a table. So, therefore, we will be using here backward interpolation formula. So, therefore, we have to use here backward interpolation table. Why backward? Because 65 this value is uh, situated at the end of a table. So, uh, before that, what is h? h will be equal to, we know it is x1 minus x0. So, what is your x1? It is 40 minus 30. So, you will get answer as a 10. Then, what is r? We know it is there. It is required in the formula. So, it will be x minus xn divided by h. x is nothing but it is value which is to be interpolated. So, here, 65 is that value. Minus xn is nothing but your last value. So, it will be your 70. 
So 65 minus 70 divided by this 10. So you will get this answer as minus 0 0.5. Now after that, first we will prepare a table. So let me prepare first table for given values of x and y. So first column will be of x, second column will be of y. So for x, what we have values? We have values. It will be 30, then 40, then 50, 60 and 70. We have taken this value from the table which we have made here. This is from this table. Okay. And uh, y values will be what? Here it will be 190. Here we will have 159, then 117, after that 66 and 31. So we have to complete this table. This will be your backward difference table. So it will be del y. So how to write it? It will be 159 minus 190. So it comes out to be minus 31. Del y, 117 minus 159. So it will be minus 42. Here also del y. 66 minus 117, so it will be minus 51. Again, del y, this 31 minus 66, so it will be minus 35. So here if you see, data starts from x0 and that x4, this will be your y, uh, y0, this will be your y4. So as we are talking about backward difference operator or backward difference table, this suffix will be here. So this is 4. So it will be 3, here it is 2, it will be 1. Next column we will prepare it for del square of y. So it is del square of y will be equal to minus 42 minus of minus 31. So it will be minus 11. Then del square y minus 51 minus of minus 42. So it will be minus 9. And again here del square y minus 35 minus of minus 51, so you will get it as a 16. So here also suffix will be 4, before that here 3, here you will have a 2. After that if you see, we have to find it out del cube of y. So how to do it? Del cube of y will be equal to minus 9 minus of minus 11, so you will get this answer as a 2. And it will be this del cube of y. 16 minus of minus 9, so it comes out to be 25. So here it will be 4. This suffix we have to continue here. Here we will have a 3. Then last uh, point if you see del raised to 4 y, so it will be what? Del raised to 4 y 4 will be equal to 25 minus 2. So it will be 20. Now we will be using or writing a formula because writing a formula also will carry some mark. So we have to write it as y equal to yn plus r into del yn plus r into r plus 1 upon 2 factorial del square of yn plus r into r plus 1 r plus 2 upon 3 factorial del cube of yn plus r into r plus 1 into r plus 2 into r plus 3 divided by 4 factorial del raised to 4 y n. So let me substitute all the values here. If you see we are talking about uh, backward interpolation. So therefore which values we have to take it here? Let me take another color. So we have to take this will be your y4. This will be your del y4, this will be your del square of y4, this will be your del raised to cube of y4 and this will be del raised to 4 of y4. So let me substitute all the values. What is your yn? Means it will be n equal to 4. So it will be here y4 plus r del y4 like that we have to put all the values. So 31 plus minus 0.5 into minus 35. I am doing, I am just substituting all the values. Already we have gone through how to find it out value of a r. Then plus 16 into minus 0.5 into minus 0.5 plus 1 divided by 2 factorial means it will be 2. Plus r is minus 0.5 minus 0.5 plus 1 
minus 0.5 plus 2 divided by 3 factorial which is equal to 6 into 25 plus minus 0.5 into minus 0.5 plus 1 minus 0.5 plus 2 minus 0.5 plus 3 whole divided by 4 factorial which is equal to 24 into 23. So here you have to solve this step by step. So you will get 31 plus 17.5 minus 2 minus 1.5625 minus 0.89843. So if you solve it, you will get answer as y will be equal to 0. Point, uh, sorry 44.039. In other words, we can say that. 44. So, meaning is nothing but the students, the students securing marks above 65 will be 44. So, there will be 44 students who will got a marks above 65. So, this is what is the procedure with the help of which we can solve. Uh, this type of a problem. This is the third type of the problem we discuss here. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt, please feel free to ask any questions. Thank you once again.